It's Vlogmas day one. It's not actually Vlogmas. It's like November 28th, but we're going to get a Christmas tree today. Everybody is here. Ben's here. My sister Caitlin's here. My brother Kevin and his girlfriend Bailey are here. My sister's husband is in the bathroom, I think. My dad's out there making breakfast. And my mom's right there. I don't know what she's doing. And we're about to eat breakfast. And then we're going to go get a tray. <laughs> we are at the tree place. Got to pick out a tree now. Everyone's got their mask on. Mask up. <laughs> Caitlin's got a festive mask. The trees are up there, down there, and all around. On the search for the tree. We're looking for a short, skinny tree for our apartment. My parents get one that's about six and a half, and they usually like it pretty full. That's pretty nice. We found a tree. Did I cut it down? Yes. <laughs> You're scared someone else is gonna take it. <laughs> what? It's kind of rotted on the inside. Do you think that matters? Uh, I think it's okay. It's not brown. I think that's just a little bit okay. It's old, really old, whatever it is. Which way? That way. Oh, it's gone down. Should I let it go? Wow, that was a lot faster than yesterday. Yep. There's our tree. My parents found their tree. There it is. That's it. Wow! This is my sister's tree. BJ's cutting the tree. The tree is inside now. There you go. Oh! What happened? Oh, what the name of Jesus? What? I got my hand on it. There's something sharp sticking out. What in the name of Jesus is going on here? What the hell is that? Okay, that's. Don't keep touching it. It looks like it's in there. Yeah, I have to pick it up and slam it down on it. That's oh, 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 do you? Okay, yeah. okay. There's a little spike on it oh, that okay. helps. All right. Stay behind. Pick it up. That's some bitch. I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. You want to do the honors? I mean, this is the this is the fun part. We always like to give. I'm not gonna take the fun away from you after you've done all the work. You should at least get to do the little. Oh, here we go. Wow. A little full. Watch that. Right. Oh man, look at that coming together. Wow, isn't that nice? Let's find the side and straighten her up. Looks a little weird from this side. I think probably the side that's facing the over here 
is gonna have to go in the back. Ma'am, how much did they the four dollars? Like it just it's needs to be turned a little bit. Yeah. Spin that thing. Spin it. Towards uh, the nut house down the street. Towards the nut house down the street. Okay, now you're a little bit more specific. The there you go. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. All right, now the crappiness is coming over here, though. Why are you telling them to Boy, do that? Because that's that in the front. You signaled this, the stopping point. That's no, fine. We always have the we always have the crappy in the in the, oh, in the back there, right? He needs to even it out. If I took this whole thing, would that be bad? No, it needs to go. It's I know the train. I just don't want to take anything without. Yeah, because that's going to hit the train. Rosie. All right. Now it's uneven. That one. All the ornaments are laid out on the table. What if I asked for a now it's time to hang them switch. on the tree. Ready tires. You should get a switch. Are you getting this down? Are you ready? Yes. Prep. Let's get to hanging. We're taking a break from doing the tree and we're gonna eat some pizza that my dad's making. It's the exact amount. <laughs> I always do exact. You come. First, no, no. the onion. It's three quarter pound on each pizza. Mm -hmm. There's an onion on there. Just like that there. Eat all the onion, so that's good. That's good enough. Now we put our pizza our sauce on there. This is my special secret recipe sauce. Nobody knows what's in this sauce. It's crushed tomatoes. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> all it is is crushed tomatoes. Oh, baby. There we go. Yeah. Little bit more over here. Now, when I do my second pizza, I have a little bit of sauce left hey, over. Hey, you spread it with your fingers. I spread it like that. <laughs> oh I my wash, God. I do wash my hands. I learned this technique <laughs> from the old lady at the Victory Pig because I saw the video <laughs> on Sister Voice. <laughs> and I realized that they do it by hand. I'll just do a little like that. Spread that there, like that, and we don't do that, and we just go like this. Damn. Make it nice. Make it now. Oh, that's money, dude. Put that on a cracker. Now hold on, because I'm about ready to save this one. Here's how we do it, dude. There you go, dude. First, we're gonna do the middle there, and then we do the middle here, and then we do like this. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Now we go, we're gonna make 12 pieces out of here. Oh, 
Oh, this one's crispy. It's making a crispy sound when I cut it. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> we're looking for that good crispy sound. There you go. All right, now, after we cut it, we spread it out. Make it good. Because we want to get all that oil soaked up by this brown paper here. I don't think they do this at the Victory Pig, but I'll do it at my pig. All right, here we go. There's the pizza. Where's my uh, tummy? Hi guys, this is going to be a continuation of Vlogmas Day 1, even though it still is not December yet. I'm not sure of the date. I think December 1st might be this coming Tuesday, but it's Sunday now. Um, but Ben and I are getting ready to decorate the apartment and to decorate our Christmas tree, which is back there. Ben's got his Christmas sweater on, drinking a LaCroix. Um, so we're gonna decorate the tree and then decorate the apartment. I got um, the fireplace on the TV <laughs> and we're ready to go. Here comes Eloise. What? <laughs> She's a little disturbed. First things first, Ben's gonna do the tree cutting. The honors of the tree cutting. Wow, there it is. Ooh. We might have to push it back into the wall a little bit. Yeah, I just didn't want to have to fight to get around. Yeah, I know. Like. And probably push it to the right a little bit. different day now but I realized that I never showed you the end results of the Christmas decorating so I just wanted to show you how it all turned out in the end um, my camera died in the middle of decorating so couldn't film the ending but here it is first of all I have the fireplace going on the TV since we don't have a fireplace anymore <laughs> I really miss it around this time of year especially but I have it on the TV not as good but at least it gives the ambiance um, I have my Christmas blanket over here in the corner and then the decorations on the TV stand. I just put some garland in the back. I have my candle, my little house, which is from Home Goods, I think. This TV is from Home Goods too, and it used to light up, but I don't know if I just need to change the batteries. I think I remember it just breaking and the light just doesn't work anymore, but it's so cute. I wish it did work. <laughs> it was one of my favorite decorations, but it's still cute. It's just not lit up. And then over here, I have this little hedgehog who looks like he's dusty with snow. <laughs> and I have this little Christmas scene. This lights up too, but I don't have it on all the time because it's battery operated. But that's what it looks like when it's lit up. Oh my god, it looks really bright in this. <laughs> Um, and the things dance around the tree. It's cute. So that's my TV stand. 
And then up here, I put some garland on the window. And then over here is the Christmas tree, which looks really cozy. And I like that it's kind of the focal point in the room. I can look at it while I'm watching TV and just relaxing. And then over here are my houses, which normally I would put on the fireplace mantle, but here I just put them on this credenza. And I think it turned out pretty well. I thought that I wasn't gonna like this without the fireplace mantle, but I like how it looks on here. Put the garland in the back again. At first I tried to put the garland in the front of the things on here and on the TV stand, but it just didn't look right and was kind of covering up the figurines, so I moved it. Um, these houses I love. I got them from Crate and Barrel a couple of years ago, um, but I really, really like them. These trees I think I got from Pacatans a couple years ago as well. But yeah, it's like a little Christmas village scene. And I like that it's right next to the Christmas tree. Okay, and then over here, I just put a couple things up on that shelf. I didn't really know what to do with this shelf, so I just kind of threw all the leftover figurines and stuff up here that I had. And I just threw in another random Yankee candle up there. The sparkling cinnamon, which is a nice smell, but it's not my favorite, so... I've had this one for a couple of years. I only light it occasionally, um, but around Christmas, this is my favorite, favorite candle from Yankee Candle. It doesn't have a, um, a label on it for some reason. I ordered it online and it came without a label, but it's the Holiday Bayberry Candle, and it smells like church on Christmas, if that makes sense. Like, it has, um, I think it has frankincense and myrrh in it, but it also has the bayberry smell and like a Christmas tree smell, but it's just very festive and cozy and I love it. But I don't know if they discontinued it because I tried ordering it on Yankee Candle's website recently and they said they were out of stock, but it said it was in stock online. So I was very confused. And then I was looking online at other places and nobody really has it. So. I did find it at Boscov's, so I ordered it from there. We'll see if it actually comes, but I'll be really sad if they discontinued it because that's my favorite Christmas smell. Anyway, back to my decorations. This is a radio from Hallmark that Ben's mom gave to me. I think it connects by Bluetooth. I mostly use it as a decoration because it's cute, but it also has a radio. Here's a nativity scene that I've had since I was a little kid. Don't know where it came from. Probably my mom. <laughs> um, and here's like a little piano figurine that I'm really upset about because I accidentally broke it when I was getting the de decorations out. The leg right there broke and one of the heads there's like a Santa that if this opens up, I don't want to touch it because it's going to move and break again, but <laughs> the top opens up and there's like a Santa and Mrs. Claus figure that like dance around on it and Mrs. Claus's head broke off, so kind of upset about that. And then I just threw this lantern up here. Um, the batteries are dead in it, so I don't have it on. <laughs> Should probably replace those, but I'll do that later. So yeah, that's my little shelf. Um... The garland and stuff I think I got at Pacatans, but they also sell something similar at Joanne Fabrics. And then these lights are battery operated because I don't have like a convenient plug up there. So everything else is plugged into the wall, but these are battery. And I got the lights I think from Target online. And then over here we have the couch. I just have the one festive pillow on it of Santa going above the town. I got that at Home Goods. And then over here, I brought my speaker. I usually have in my bedroom. I brought it down here just because I usually listen to Christmas music throughout the season um, down here. So I like to keep that down here for um, the holidays. I have this little squirrel figure that I got from Target. He's so cute. Um, I have this candle over here, which again, I don't usually light <laughs> unless I'm desperate because I like that other candle better, but yeah. And then this, I think I got from either Packetans or Michaels. And then over here are my Christmas mugs. A lot of them are in the dishwasher to be washed, but this one is a new addition this year. <laughs> I really like it. It's from Anthropology. 
and it says Noel à Paris. It has the Eiffel Tower on it, and I just really like things that have Christmas scenes on them. So this is like a cute Christmas scene that you can just look at it and get lost in Paris for a little moment. They have a lot of different kinds of these mugs. Not a lot, I think there's two other kinds on Anthropology. They have a New York one of like the Rockefeller Christmas tree um, and the ice skating rink. And then they have a London one. But yeah, they're all really cute. I wanted to buy them all. And then my Snoopy mug from Home Goods. This is from Home Goods. That plate down there is from Macy's. I have a matching Christmas mug that looks exactly like that. My Macy's Thanksgiving Day mug, which I got when I visited my brother in New York for Christmas in 2018, two years ago. Wow, that's crazy. I have this candy cane mug, which I also got from Home Goods. And then a bunch of other mugs that are in the dishwasher. But yeah, that's this little area. I kind of want to get like um, those battery operated fairy lights that are on like that kind of copper wire for over here, but I don't have any right now. I think I have one up in the bedroom, but I want to keep that one up there. So I'm going to get another set that I can put here just to make it a little more festive looking. And then over here, I have my Christmas pillows. I honestly don't remember where I got these. I think maybe I got this at Target last year. This might have also been from Target, but I don't remember. I guess I could look at the tag. I cut the tag off. <laughs> it's either Target or Home Goods. No, I messed up my pillows. God. And then this black and white one is from Pier One. So there's my bench and Eloise's toys beside it. <laughs> and then I have this sign up here. I didn't really know what to do with this sign because in my old apartment I put it by the fireplace but just threw it up here because there was already a hook there so <laughs> figured why not and then going into the kitchen I have my tea towels which I got from Crate and Barrel a couple years ago um, I have this teapot which I love uh, I got it from Macy's a couple years ago I think it's the Martha Stewart um, Christmas collection teapot. Then over here I have another teapot <laughs> that I got at Home Goods. Um, this one's not one that you would put on the stove, but it's just like if you want to carry hot tea up to your desk or something like that. Here's a nice panoramic view of everything. Very cozy. I like how over here in the mirror you can see the Christmas tree very festive and then when you look in here you can see everything yeah. but that is it for day one of vlogmas even though it's not actually day one and I just kind of mashed everything up together I hope you enjoyed it <laughs> and from this point on I'm gonna do like a normal vlogmas like every day will actually be day one, day two, day three, etc. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow for a day two.